Welcome back. The Ministry of Finance recorded a deficit in the state revenue and expenditure budget for January 2021 of 45.7 trillion rupiah, or equivalent to 0.26% of GDP. The Ministry of Finance recorded a deficit in state revenue and expenditure budget for January 2021 of 45.7 trillion rupiah or equivalent to 0.26% of Indonesia's GDP. Finance Minister Sri Mulyani said that the state budget deficit was due to the realization of state revenues of 100.1 trillion rupiah or a contraction of 4.8% compared to the achievement of the same period last year of 105.1 trillion rupiah. Realization of state revenue is equivalent to 6.2% of the 2021 target. 5,7 triliun atau 0,26 persen dibandingkan tahun lalu yang 34,8 triliun mungkin tidak terlalu banyak berbeda. Namun ada kenaikan 31 karena memang bulan Januari tahun lalu belum mengalami COVID. The Minister of Finance said that sluggish state revenue was mainly caused by tax deposits which were still small due to the impact of the pandemic. She added that the impact of the pandemic had a tremendous impact on the economy. As a result, the state budget must work extra hard to keep the economy stable. From IDX Channel's coverage team reported. The government has announced the realization of state revenue and spending throughout January 2021. And to get it more clearly, let's take a look at the uh, following infographics. The first one is January 2021 state revenue realization. The total revenue is 101 trillion rupiah, declined by 4.8% year on year. For the tax revenue in detail, we have uh, 68.5 trillion rupiah, customs and excise, 12. 0.5 trillion rupiah and non-tax revenue 19.1 trillion rupiah we uh, collaborate or, or we compile data from uh, Minister of Finance and IDX channel research realization of state revenue in January 2021 was supported by an increase in customs and excise revenues where tax revenues and non-tax state revenues contracted in detail tax revenue was only 68.5 trillion rupiah or decreased by 15.3% year-on-year compared to the same period in January 2020 of 80.8 .8 trillion rupiah. Finance Minister Sri Mulyani said that the decline in tax revenues was due to the contraction of oil and gas tax income and non-oil and gas tax revenues, respectively minus 19.8% and minus 15.2%. The decline was more or less influenced by the fiscal incentives in, uh, introduced by the government for taxpayers for the business, not to mention because labor absorption has not returned to normal yet. And meanwhile, the positive growth was shown uh, by customs and excise revenues, which was supported by the realization of excise that reached 9.1 trillion rupiah, grew by 495% compared to January 2020. So from the uh, revenue side, let's uh, shift to state spending data in the next graphic. This is the January 2021 state spending realization of Indonesia. The central government spending as much as 94.7 trillion rupiah. Transfer to region 50.3 trillion rupiah. Village funds 0 0.8 trillion rupiah. And the total spending of it as much as 145.8 trillion rupiah. 5.3% of state budget target. The realization of state expenditure in January, which amounted to 145.8 trillion, grew by 4.2% from last year's realization of 139.9 trillion rupiah. If we dig deeper, central government spending consists of spending by ministries and state institutions, which includes expenditures on personnel, good expenditures, capital expenditures and social assistance. Meanwhile, the realization of transfers to regions and village fund until January 2021 has reached 6.4% of the final 2021 target of nearly 800 trillion rupiah. Regarding the increase in state spending, the government hopes that with a boost in state spending, the national economy this year can grow positively by 5%. In the short term, in the first quarter of 2021, the economic growth is expected to be better than the realization in the fourth quarter of 2020 of minus 2.9 or minus 2.19% year-on-year. 
And viewers, based on the total state revenue and expenditure, how big was the state budget deficit recorded during the last month? Let's check it on the uh, next graphic. This is January 2021 state budget realization. The revenue as much as 145.8 trillion rupiah. Meantime, the spending is um, 100 and uh, 100.1. The state budget deficit um, as much as 45.7 trillion rupiah. The deficit of 45.7 trillion rupiah was up 31.5 percent compared to the same position in 2020. In this regard, Minister of Finance Sri Mulyani said that this increase is deficit accord because the COVID-19 pandemic had not yet occurred in early 2020, while the government budget at the beginning of 2021 has been adjusted to the conditions of the COVID-19 pandemic, which is still continuing. Saying this condition may bang Indonesia's global market, economist Merdel Gunnarto says that the position of the state budget deficit is still very low against GDP and is still on track to the projection of the 2021 state budget deficit of 5.7%. So that it is uh, still supportive for the national economic recovery. On the other hand, in-depth economist Nilo Huda says that the government will revise the budget again by reducing spending and adjusting revenue targets. So inevitably, um, there is a budget that must be sacrificed or reallocated, including official travel funds, meetings, even the infrastructure of W or SWF budget. In the midst of this condition, the government admits that it is currently boosting government spending, which is directed at restoring health and the national economy. So how much money is allocated? Let's see the number in the next graphic. This is National Economic Recovery Budget Location for 2021 Health Sector. As much as 176.3 trillion rupiah priority programs, 125.06 trillion rupiah social security, 157.4 trillion rupiah support for MSME and corporations, 186.81 trillion rupiah and business incentives, 53.83 trillion rupiah, the total budget of 2021, as much as 699.3 or 43 trillion rupiah. The government said that the increase in the national economic recovery budget up to 21% is a step to encourage the effectiveness of the national economic recovery, which is expected to accelerate in the first quarter of 2021. The design of the national economic recovery this year is said to be modified, one of which is the budget for a health program soaring to 176.3 trillion rupiah, in which the increase is due to increase uh, spending in the uh, health sector covering diagnostics for testing and uh, tracing, treatment costs, vaccination programs, health tax incentives, and other treatments. Meantime, one program that is equally important is the Social Assistance Program, which has even been stated by President Yoko Widodo that the Social Assistance Program must be continued, where according to him, the program can help the lower class to meet their needs and increase people's purchasing power, which is expected to become an economic driver. And hopefully the government will still be able to maintain a prudent level of state budget deficit while continuously accelerating the national health and economic recovery. Stay tuned on Market Headlines because we'll be right back after the break.